Mexico City is known for being a big city with a lot of traffic and good food, but I feel like there is something that not enough people know about my city and that is that we have a beautiful springtime here. We have something very similar to the cherry blossom season in Japan and Washington DC, but our version is called Las Jacarandas and it's one of the best times to visit Mexico City. Hello guys, my name is Israel and today I'm going to be showing you my favorite spots in Mexico City to watch the Jacaranda blossom season. So next time if you're planning to come here during springtime, you know which places are the best. These trees are pretty much everywhere in the city but there are some particular places that are very nice so I am going to show that to you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. So we are going to start with one of the most iconic avenues in Mexico City and one of my favorite spots to see these beautiful trees. You've probably seen this avenue in many pictures or videos on the internet. It's one of the symbols of Mexico City. It's a very nice place to walk or take your bike with you. And right here there is another one of my favorite spots which is a hotel and I'm going to show it to you in a bit. This is Sofitel, it's a very nice hotel here in Mexico City. It has a very nice views. There's a very nice bar downstairs. I like it because you can see the whole city, you know, it has a very nice view of Reforma. So, you know, it's a great place to come if you want to watch the Jacaranda Blossom season. I recommend it a lot. I feel like there is no better place to view Mexico City than this bar. It honestly has the best view in the city, so I strongly recommend that you try this place out. It's very nice to see all Mexico City. Mexico City is huge and you will get a better idea of how big the city is in this place. Now I'm going to take you to another one of my favorite places, which is Colonia Condesa. This is probably my favorite spot once they are fully bloomed because now they're not there yet. Oh my god, I think this is the best street so far. The trees look so pretty. This is Parque Mexico and it's one of my favorite spots in the city. Anytime you come here really it's gonna be beautiful, summer, fall and it's located right in the heart of Condesa. One of the best ways to discover the city is with a bike. Because even if there's traffic you are not gonna have any problems to get around because usually the traffic is crazy here. Alright guys, so now I am heading towards Polanco, which is one of my favorite spots. Polanco is one of the most beautiful and posh areas in Mexico City. It's very popular with foreign, so if you can afford it, definitely stay in this area because it's very nice. And it's particularly beautiful during springtime because it has a lot of jacaranda trees. The street we're about to see is definitely one of my favorite streets in Polanco. It's called Lope de Vega. And if you come here in the right time, it looks absolutely beautiful. So I just arrived in Chapultepec Park. Let me tell you, it was not easy to get here. I thought it was going to be easier than it was, but I had to walk through Periferico. Oh my God, that was so crazy. 
I don't think I'm gonna do it again. Chapultepec Park is huge. In fact, it is the biggest urban park in all of Latin America and it has over 678 acres of space. In here you will find museums, restaurants, lakes, golf courses, a lot of things. Now I'm gonna take you to the south of the city to see the biggest and most important university in Mexico called Universidad Autónoma de México. All right guys, so I am just arriving into Seúl. I took the Metrobús and now I am in this beautiful park. As you can see, the only reason why I came here is because apparently there is very nice jacaranda trees in this area, so that's why I came. I've never been to this university before, so this is kind of my first time and I'm very excited to be here. However, I can already see that it's too early. I don't think the jacaranda uh, trees are fully blooming right now, but still it's a very nice time to come here. It's warm today. I really like the weather today. It's so beautiful. I love spring in Mexico City. It's just so such a nice weather. It's very mild yet a little bit warm. <gasps> There's a squirrel here. I don't think you can see it. It's gone, but Wow, I love Seoul. It looks so nice already and I just got here um, Wow It's completely empty. I mean, I have never been here before But I'm pretty sure uh, Normally this place will be packed with students and right now I'm gonna show you how it looks like there's like no one around here, which looks a little bit um, weird. Yeah, I think I came too early. I don't think I'll be back though, so I'm just gonna make the most of it. I just feel like uh, it's like with the cherry blossom season, you know? Um, you can be lucky and find uh, many trees and it can be amazing, or you can be not so lucky and find only a few of them. Now, in some areas of the city, it's perfect right now. There's like plenty of Akaranda trees, but in some other areas, it's too early. So I think that's the case in, in the south of the city because Unam is located in the south of Mexico City. So maybe the south, it's colder, I don't know. All right guys, so I am finished with Seul. This was a great experience. I really enjoyed coming here. I never been to a place this empty. I don't know, just the feeling was very interesting. So anyway, now I'm going to the Metrobus because I want to go um, to another neighborhood that has also really nice Hakaranda trees blooming currently and it's called Del Valle. This is uh, Del Valle, so this neighborhood is actually quite far. Mexico City is very big, so obviously you need to take subway, uh, metrobus, or taxis, you know, if you're going to like very far away areas. I never came here, why? There's just always something to explore. So this is definitely my favorite street in Mexico by far to see the Jacarandas. Oh my god, you guys. It's called Concepcion Beristegui and it's located in La Colonia Narvarte. You don't want to miss this one. So I am in this beautiful street. I believe this is one of the best ones I found. Unfortunately, I came here too early, but I believe this is probably one of the most beautiful streets I've found so far. Um, there's a lot of jacaranda trees in here. So if you come in the right time, this place I'm sure must look amazing.
Okay, so I am in an avenue called Minerva Avenue, which is, has been one of my favorites, actually. It's very green. This area of the city is quite far from Condesa or Reforma, so you are gonna have to take a metro bus or an Uber or a taxi, but it's totally worth it because the trees are just so pretty. So far, it's been one of my favorite spots in the city. Okay, now we're gonna head to the historic center, which is one of my favorite areas in the city. And here you will find Mirador de la Torre Latino, which is one of my favorite spots to see the city and Jacaranda Blossoms as well. And this building is very interesting because it has survived two of the most devastating earthquakes in the city and to this day it's still standing proudly. This is Alameda Central and is one of the most iconic parks in Mexico City. It was previously a market called San Hipólito, but in 1592, Luis de Velasco ordered to remove it and have a park instead. All right guys, so I am walking in an area called Lomas of the Beck, which is like the area for the rich people. All right guys, we are finished. Wow, it was a very long video, but you know what? Mexico City, it's gigantic. So it took me a few days to film this video, but it was totally worth it because even though I'm from here, I got to see so many places that I've never been to. And yeah, this is such a nice time to come to Mexico City. I love spring. It looks very nice and these trees are so magical. So anyways, I hope you like this video and let me know if you've ever been to Mexico City during springtime. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Take care and stay healthy.